Hello, and welcome to this packed video screencast on Dart programming. In this section, you will learn how to handle key press events in Dart to make your application do interesting things. In our case, the key presses will be used to control the worm's direction of movement, pause, and reset the game. In this video, we will be learning how to use the on key press method to register a listener for key press events. Specifically, we will be using the on key press method provided by the Dart HTML library registering a callback with the method, and using key presses to generate actions on the screen. If you don't already have it open, switch to the Dart editor now. In the previous video series, we covered the basics of timers and callbacks. We used the timer.periodic to create a reoccurring event at a set time interval, and use this to build our animations. Key press events are handled in much the same way as timer events. You can write a callback function that will be triggered whenever a key is pressed. The same callback is always triggered, so the callback itself is responsible for determining which key was pressed and whether or not to take some action. To get started, let's write a simple callback function. This function will simply add text to the board every time a key is pressed by the user. It will also tell us what key was pressed. Next, let's register this callback with the document.onKeyPress function so that the keys that are pressed are passed from the browser to our game. Okay, let's run our project and see the result. Now, as the user presses keys on the keyboard, new paragraph elements are added to the board. Notice that the other animations are not affected by this and everything else is still running perfectly fine. In the next video, we will be linking our key press events to specific game controls to control the worm. Thank you very much for watching.